Today, I'm going to share with you the Feng Shui regarding our shoe cabinet. Many people was asking, Sifu, Sifu, where to place my shoe cabinet? So usually my answer is very simple, near to your main door. And here is the question. We know the main qi mouth in Chinese is called qi kou, the energy coming from the main door. If we were to place our shoe cabinet next to our qi mouth, which denotes it might affect the qi coming from the outside. Because the shoe is usually dirty, we're stepping around, so the negative qi may come along with our shoe. And if we don't place our shoe cabinet next to our main door, where should we place our shoe cabinet? We place it in the uh, bedroom, we place it in the kitchen, or we place it in the storeroom. This is not practical. If you were to go out every day, don't tell me you're going to take your shoe from the storeroom or going to take your shoe from a bedroom. This is totally not logical. Feng Shui is a practical and logical knowledge. So we can still place our shoe cabinet near to our main door because this is to our convenience. So, but then we must have the solution and remedy for this. Anyway, the shoe is still dirty. The negative energy is definitely there. We cannot be avoided. But we have a very easy remedy for every one of you. How we do that? Very simple, a bowl of salt. You just place a bowl of salt inside your shoe cabinet because the salt itself can absorb all the negative energy from the shoe. So what you need to do is that we change the salt every half a year or every one year. This can actually reduce the negative impact that the negative chi gather in front of our main door. There are many cultures believe that the salt itself can absorb the negative qi, including Japanese or Egypt and many other cultures, so as our Chinese believe. So make use of the salt. Another important point is this. Many of our landed property have a large space in front so that we make the full height shoe cabinet. The full height shoe cabinet itself have no issue, but then don't place your shoe above your head. Uh, so if you will have the full height, on top of that, you may place other things but not your shoe because we don't like the shoe to step on, on our head. You know, this is not very auspicious. So place your shoe you know, below our head, that should be fine. If you have an extra shoe that you rarely wear them, you can keep them in the store. But the shoe that you use it every day, you place it in front of your main door. Do remember, clean your shoe now and then, although you have a remedy. I wish my sharing today can help you a bit here and there in the Feng Shui. I wish you have an excellent Feng Shui.